forgive him and forgive us all. Some rise by sin and some by virtue fall. Why, how now, Claudio? Whence comes this restraint? What's that offense, Claudio? What, but to speak of would offend again. What, it's murder? No. Lechery, call it so. Away, sir, you must go. One word, good friend Lucio, a word with you. A hundred of told you any good. Is Lechery so looked after? <laughs> so good. Thank you. 
the Duke. I know none. Can you tell me of any? Some say he's at the Emperor of Russia. Others some he's in Rome. But where does he think you? I know not where. But wheresoever, I wish him well. It was a mad, fantastical trick of him to steal from the state and unsurp the beggary he was never born to. Lord Angelo digs it well in his absence. He puts transgression to it. He does well in it. A little more lenity to let you do the harm in him. Something to craft that way, Friar. It is too general a vice, and severity must cure it. They say this Angelo was not made by man and woman after this downright way of creation. Is it true, think you? How should he made then? Some report a sea mate spawned him. Some that he was begot between two stockfishes. But it is certain that when he makes water, his urine is congealed ice. <laughs> that I know to be true. You are pleasant, sir, and speak apace. Why, what a ruthless thing is this in him? For the rebellion of a codpiece to take away the life of a man. I never heard the absent duke much detected for women. He was not inclined that way. Oh, sir, you are deceived. Tis not possible. Who not? The duke? Yes, your beggar of fifty. And his use was to put a ducket in a clock dish. The duke had crotchets in him. He would be drunk too, that let me inform you. You do him wrong. Surely, sir, I was an inward of his. But this I can let you understand. The greater file of the subject of the duke to be wise. Wise? Why no question what he was. A very superficial, ignorant, unweighing fellow. Either this is envy in you, folly, or mistaking. Sir, I know him. And I love him. Love talks with better knowledge, and knowledge with dear love. Come, sir, I know what I know. I can hardly believe that, since you know not what you speak. But if ever the duke return, as our prayers are he may, let me desire you to make your answer before him. Sir, my name is Lucio, well known to the duke. He shall know you better, sir, if I need lift to report you. I love the Duke, 
as I love myself. Hark how the villain would close now, after his treasonable abuses. Such a fellow's not to be talked with him. Where is the provost? Oh, where with him to prison? They bought it up upon there. Stay, sir, stay a while. What? Resist he? Hope on Lucio. Come, sir. Come, sir. Fall, sir. Why, you bald, painted, lying rascal. You must be hooded, must you? Show your nays, visage, you the pox of you. Show your sheep fighting face and behave an hour. Will it not off? <gasps> Thou art the first nay that e'er made the duke. First provost, let me bail these gentle three. Sling that away, sir, for the friar you must have a word or none. Lay hold on him. This may prove worse than hanging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dread lord, no longer session hold upon my shame. But let my trial be my own confession. Immediate sentence, then and sequent death, is all the grace I beg. An Angelo for Claudio, death for death. Haste to his haste, and leisure, Angel ledger. Like does quit like, and measure, still for measure. We do condemn thee to the very block where Claudio stooped to death, and with like haste, away with him. And yet, here's one in place I cannot pardon. You, Sirrah. I knew before you fool, a coward, when all the luxury, an ass, a madman. Why have I so deserved you that you extol me thus? Faith, my lord, I spoke it, but according to the trick, if you will hang me for it, you may. But I'd rather please you, I might be whipped. Whipped first, and <coughs> hanged after. Ooh. Proclaim a provost, round about the city. If any woman wrong, by this lewd fellow, as I have heard him swear, there's one of me being got with child. Let her appear. <laughs> <laughs> and he shall bury her. I beseech your highness, do not marry me to a whore. Your highness said even now I made you a duke. Now, good my lord, do not recompense me of making me a cuckold. Upon my daughter. Thou shalt marry her. Marrying a whore, my lord, is pressing to death, whipping and hanging. Slandering prince deserves it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>